corner of Lake Louise to think of how to make things work between us. How to make everything okay for us. I can't stop thinking about you. I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Well, it's upstairs in my room. Come, let's go. What surprise? What's happened? What is the problem, babe? What is it? Upstairs in your room. No, please. Babe, this is the third time you're declining the request to go to my room. Why? I mean, you freely enter all the rooms downstairs, but not the ones upstairs. What happened? You think I have a dead body in my room? No, babe, it's, it's not it's not that. I just don't like climbing the stairs. You know, when I was little, I, I fell and I broke my leg. And since then, I've had phobia for climbing upstairs. <laughs> Come on, honey. You're a full grown woman now. Huh? You shouldn't be scared of things that happened in the past. Come, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Don't worry, when I'm when I'm ready, I'll I'll go. Okay. Well, for now, let me just I'll wait here for the surprise to come. If you say so. Okay. I'm waiting. Chipmunks. Now I know why they call you that. Man, what are you? An assassin? He's trying to be a man. A murderer? <laughs> the guy was shouting. <laughs> I'm just being a man, bro. I'm just being a man. Okay? Uh, what do you expect? Um, that girl in there, she is fire. Just go in and uh, finish from where I stopped. Okay? <laughs> she <got dumb. laughs> Because you know what they call me? You know what they call me? The law. The law. <laughs> so I'm going in there and I'm literally taking the law. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look at you, the real MVP, <laughs> the full package with all of the stuff you're carrying. I like it. Please, can you just stop? You know it's because of my friend Jenny that I'm here. Really? So, what are you implying that I cannot ask you out and bring you back to my home mm -hmm. without Jenny's consent? No, that's not what I mean. What do you mean? You're attractive, you're very handsome. Mm. But I don't usually act swiftly. It will make me look so cheap. I don't... Stop! 
What? That's unfair. You should have at least allowed me to finish my, my statement before interrupting. But baby, it, it's not unfair. I mean, you are the most gorgeous woman I've set my eyes on in this vicinity in recent time. I swear. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm actually not lying to me just to be honest with you. Me? Lawson, lie to you? You don't even know me. Listen, I can't remember the last time I, I brought a woman home to this house. Mm. Honestly. You, you know, before you took me with your lies. <laughs> I'm not lying. Why are you accusing me of lying? Huh? Well, if I cannot kiss you, at least would you let me show you around? <laughs> After you. Thank you so much for today. I really enjoyed my stay at your place. Pleasure. And thank you for dropping me as well. <laughs> Pleasure is all mine. I'll tell you what, the next time when you do come around, I've got a mega surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Well, that depends if you'll be a good boy, because I kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, good luck with that. Because you see, I have a bony ass. So. <laughs> My ass is very bony. <laughs> You might break a toe, try to kick it. Well, that's not going to be bad. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. Thank you so much. I need to go inside now. Ah, not so fast. Give me a moment. Ah. Oh, sorry. Here. Just get yourself something nice. And thanks for coming. This, this is too much. This is... About the hundred thousand. Why? I don't think you. I, I don't want to think you. Who says it's too much? Me or you? I mean, we didn't even do anything. I I, I, uh, I can't accept it. Do we have to do something together for me to give you something? I mean, this is a token from me to you saying thank you for coming. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Take I'll good see you care. Tomorrow, Definitely. <laughs> I can't wait. Bye. All right. bye, bye bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. What's up? Well, I'm okay. Look, that guy wants to sweep me off my feet. Like, I honestly don't even know. Do you know he gave me a whooping sum of 100,000 naira? And we didn't even do anything. Yes, I know. Yes, I know it's your connection. Thank you very much. You've been a good friend. What? He, he called you already. See, you both should not gossip around me because that guy is such a sweet talker. I know. <laughs> Uh, you see, you know what? I'll stop by at your office first thing tomorrow morning. I'm like, go, Jerry. You like coming for? <laughs> I'll call you. Jenny, I'll call you. I'll give you all the gist later. Okay. All right. <laughs> Bye, girlfriend. <laughs> Lawson. See, guy, where did you get this one from? I mean, the, from the way you are describing her, I am sure this must be a very beautiful girl. Let me see the pictures again. You sure you want to see this one? Of course, I want to see. You want to see this one? Man, I want to see. Check it out. Wow. 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 Come on, man. Ganga party. This girl is such a beauty to behold. Come on. I told you. I told you. You know, I'm the master of the curves. Of course. Of course. I can see that. I can see that. I Come on. I cannot even wait for that day to come. Oh, um, look at the shape. Look at this waist. Man, this waist I'm seeing right here cannot be a waist. As long as the grid remains, we'll keep eating, dining, and devouring them. All of them. 
You know this thing, you know. And guess what? The ocean never runs dry. Never. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're seeing her tomorrow evening. So make yourself available. Come on, you know me. You know how I can be. As long as it has to do with women, I'm always available. I'm never busy. <laughs> <laughs> they will think I swear for you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I've been drinking all. You help yourself. No, I think I want to eat food. Then go to the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to have you here. Hey, 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 hang on, bingo, bingo. <laughs> this is my woman. I alone get all the hugs around here, okay? What's up? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Hi, my name is Alvin, and uh, you are? I'm Rolly. Oh, Rolly. Wow. Well, I'm down. You two life woman. Huh? Why don't you let me make the introduction? I will do the introduction myself. That's why I call you Bingo. You. <laughs> All right. So, um, babe, this is Alvin, my very good friend, like probably my best friend, and then Alvin B. B for Bingo. This is <laughs> my girl, Rolly. Rolly. Rolly, I must say you look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. So, why are you guys headed? Uh, she was uh, leaving, but I think there's a, a slight change of plan now on my part, so we're going to go have some drinks, girl. Okay, that sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I told you I was leaving. I know, but Alvin is here now. Come on now. Come on. We'll That's good. Have a I don't mind. I'll drop you up there after. That's good. And there will be time enough to tell you about a certain three wise men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. So, Rolly, do you, do you mind riding with me or are you riding with this guy? Let's go. <laughs> Let us go. I'll just drive behind. You can as well run after us. <laughs> He's insane. I don't Babe, hmm. your body is burning up like you're feeling feverish. Are you okay? Me? Mm -hmm. Feverish? Oh, I'm not. It's fine. So if I have feverish, I don't know what to do. Trust me. But I know when a doctor is not going to <laughs> With all my experiences in medicine, back in school days, Ah, please, before you start to lecture me, I also went to school. Making me look like it's gone. Hello, everybody. Hey, hi, Lawson. What's up, buddy? You didn't tell me you were coming. Hi, Alvin. Hi, Rolly. How are you? You didn't say you were coming. No, the thing is that I have this client who stays on the Sunday street. And this guy is just that I come to his house so we can discuss the case. So I came in and I to come to the street. How thoughtful. Idiot. <laughs> so, how was your outing at the court the last time? Oh, that. What were you expecting? Of course, I won straight up. God despises the proud, my guy. You're too proud. <laughs> Just say you won. What is it? Wow. Tell me you actually came back in time. I want to say the thing for dinner. Oh, you must be. Does she have dead or something? Why are you asking me? We haven't even done the rounds on her. She's, she's out already. Come on. Where the hell did he get that girl from? What are we going to do? What? Calm down. It's a serious issue. Listen. Look. 
in a situation like this, the best thing to do is gather yourself together. No, listen to me. You need to pull yourself together. Okay? How on earth am I supposed to do that? This girl in question is friends with Annabelle. What am I going to tell Annabelle? What am I going to tell her? What, 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 what? This is a serious issue. This is a serious issue. Are you sure she's dead? You're joking. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Say something, man. You know what? You know what? Let me go upstairs and get her body. What? You go start the car right away. Do as I said. Please. <laughs> And of course I am not Alvin. I don't know where Alvin is. Why are you here? Why did you leave your door open? Where is your security guard? I'm sorry. I had a very stressful day. You look so messed up. Did you sleep here last night? If I must have dozed off, I don't know. I just, I just dozed off. I, I said I was so tired. Let me take you up to see confessional and I'll make something. Okay. <sighs> Uh, 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 so what happened last time? I mean I woke up I didn't see you. When did you leave? It was wrong that even woke me up. I was far gone. Uh, yeah, about that, I <clears throat> I left immediately we returned. So I hope you dispose of the body properly. Sure, I did. Where I disposed her body in the next hundred years, nobody will even find out. I trust you. Man, that was close. That was really, really close. But what really happened? What did you give her? What made her go flat like that? I don't know. I think that girl was high on drugs or something. You sure you didn't overdose her? No. I gave her the normal sleeping pills so we can have our way. Are you sure? Of course, I am sure. It's not my first time. Of course it's not. That was why I was wondering. Well, we need to be careful. Though. 
to be really, really careful about the kind of girls we bring to this house. Some girls just come to put somebody in trouble. Do you know what that means? That dead by hanging. Come on, Lawson, you had the better part. I mean, I, I'm not even going to mind Maldor before she passed out. That's in the past. Let it pass. You're still thinking about that? Huh? Don't worry. Tonight is your place. And I hope you have a girl already. <laughs> You're a bad boy. Of course I have. And uh, this particular girl, I, I've always wanted to have um, something like this with her. I just can't wait. Learn to wait. Huh? It's just a new fish. Let her breathe. You're always too eager. Man, I, I, I wish I can, but I just can't. I can't wait. Can't wait. You can't wait. Pauline. Who is Pauline? Um, see. Pauline is his ex that passed not long ago. Don't mind this little boy. He's always. <laughs> there's never two sentences without him remembering or mentioning his early name. I'm so sorry about that. You have so rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And, um, Lawson? <clears throat> Don't mm -hmm. forget tonight. Please. Hmm. What is happening tonight? Hmm. Don't tell me you both are planning to go out without me. No. Babe. There's no, no, no such thing, babe. I was just... Um... Well, 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 the thing is, um, there's, um, there's this online meeting we usually have with our friends. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Oh. And uh, this man here is always missing out. So sure. I'm just to okay. That's fine. I'm not going to miss out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're not even eating. The food no will do. Ah, you like food. All right, take care. Bye. <laughs> well, you wanted to tell me you're the lawyer. Go get the food, I'll tell you. I am famished. That I won't give you. you won't give me. I won't give you. You're giving me all the foods available. <laughs> Hi, babe. Good evening. I'm okay. I'm all right. My day was fine. How was yours? Baby, when are you coming back from Spain? See, don't forget to tell me when you're coming back home so I can I can wait for you on your arrival at your place. I miss you more. I miss you, miss you, miss you. <laughs> Alright. Good night, baby. And be a good boy. Be a good boy. <laughs> Bye. Babe. Yep. Have I ever complimented your nails? Like, just so neat and they can go in anywhere. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, you, you're making me fall in love with you. Like, I am deeply in love with you. Ever since we met, I only think about how you take care of me, pamper me, spoil me. You're indeed God sent. Well, what can I say? I... You too. You're the most special person I've been with uh, in the last five or six years since my mom passed. And um, I'm really grateful for uh, the way you take care of me. You've been an absolute angel. I mean, you take care of me and everything. And you cook for me. You do my laundry. You, you're a virtuous woman. Like, like a big little virtuous woman. You even bat me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Whoa, where, where did I beat you? Have you seen yourself? You, a grown up man like you, how did I beat you? <laughs> you bat me now. How? The last time I was in the bathroom, what were you doing? You need to wash my back. Hey, you call that, you call that beating? No. 
you couldn't like scrub your back again. You said it to go. I know. Scrub. I know. Scrub. I know. But... Oh, you call that big thing? Yes. Yeah. See, please, don't say this outside. Don't tell people that I bait you, especially Alvin. It's so embarrassing. How is this I bait you? How is it embarrassing? <laughs> I already like... told you, Mo. Too late. I told... You did? Yes, I told Alvin. How did you do that? I told him. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him. No, I didn't, no, I didn't tell him. I swear I didn't tell him. Why would I, I do that? I don't believe you. I did not tell oh him. God. Why would I? Oh my God. I was, you know, if I told him that he would go tell the boys now and they will make fun of me. Come on. I, no, I, was, I, I was only pulling your beautiful no, no, legs. No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm pulling your beautiful legs. I didn't tell Alvin. I, I did. You. You don't believe me. What should I do so you can believe me? Huh? What should I do so you can believe me? Should I? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> me. 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 I, I love you. I don't believe you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Believe me. <laughs> oh, you believe I love you. Yes, I believe you. But you don't believe that you tell me. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. I didn't. You have to give me some time, Alvin. I, I have not prepared for that to happen right now. Matter of fact, I am not even in that headspace. Man, you need to put yourself together. Okay? Jeremiah said he's coming too. Coming for what exactly? What do you mean coming for what exactly? Everyone wants a share from the meat. Come on. Why must we involve Jeremiah right now? That's my turn. Why do we not have to involve Jeremiah now that it's your turn? We've been playing this game for years. Need I remind you that? This girl is my girlfriend. Your what? My girlfriend. Come on, bro. There is no betrayal in the circle. Every girl belongs to each and every one of us. It's uh, She's not your girl. For years, you've been eating from other girls. Now it's your turn. You're reminding me that she's your girlfriend. Really? This is not different. She's just like every one of them. She belongs to everybody. Everybody. At this case, nobody will marry you. She loves me. And I'm suddenly falling in love with her. Yes, I know this feeling is genuine. How can I tell Alvin and Desmond that I'm falling in love with this girl? Hmm? I know this feeling is genuine, but how can I tell Alvin and Desmond that I'm falling in love with her? These guys will laugh me to scorn. They will laugh me to scorn. The same person that advises them against falling in love that it wasn't worth it, Come on. No. No. It will be a sheer mockery. But how will she see me at the end after everything? How do I face her? How do I face her? I can't carry that guilt on me. I mean, how do I tell her that she is just a game for us? It will hurt her feelings. Well, I don't have a choice. I just have to let nature take its course. Yes, it's tonight. Yes. Listen, yes. Lawson came in from the UK yesterday. And our uh, plans are for tonight. Yes, now. Would you want to miss a moment with her? Listen, I for one wouldn't miss it for anything. All right. All right, no problem. I don't know why he keeps calling me by this time of the night. I've told you to stop calling me by this time, but he doesn't listen. Hello? Uh, hello? So where are you? Where are you now? I'm standing outside. You 
You cancelled. You should have called me now. My heart can't take it anymore. What nonsense are you talking about? Hmm? What are you talking about? Okay, I, I mean, like, I can't. Okay, well, can I look for someone else? No. It was the man that was sitting here. We have told him something. Huh? Listen, I am going upstairs to stay in one of the rooms. When she comes, let me know. Listen. You need to reason this out with me. You need to. I've got my reasons for taking this dance. You don't want to see it. Oh, really? Jokes on you. Harvey. Harvey. Lawson. Lawson. Are you okay? Yeah. You you look worried and sick. I, are you sure you're fine? Worried? Sick? Do I? No, far from it. I just had a stressful day. Um, I'm mulling over a few things, one or two things. Was that why you didn't shut your door? I didn't. Your door was open. Oh, I didn't even notice when you got in. Yes, because your door was open, so I, I walked in. Baby, you should have called me early on your arrival. You didn't have to wait this this long before calling me. And besides, you sounded worried and it troubled my heart. So I had to rush down here. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything is totally fine. I, um, I apologize if I caused you any stress. I just wanted to get you down here by all means. Nothing more. And now that you're here. Did you miss me that much? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm hoping that this one will be the last. What was that? Uh, nothing. Uh, never mind. What's so, that? now that you're here, can I go fresh enough and come get what's mine? It's not fully yours. But I can let you go tonight. Hmm. Just tonight. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> um, by the way, I I saw Alvin's car parked outside, but I don't seem to see him anywhere around. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently, he's... I mean, Alvin's clients live in this neighborhood. I didn't even know. Oh. Yeah. So they invited him for a birthday bash. So he turned up and then left his car in, a, in my premises. Yeah. But well, he's going to come pick it up uh, thereafter. So. so, he didn't go because he knew I was coming. I wouldn't miss this for all the dollars <laughs> in the United States. <laughs> okay, I'll be upstairs. You better come on time, else I'm going to change my mind. <laughs>
Baby scared me. I mean, why would you be knocking in your own room? I'm sorry. Hmm? Please. What? Go and freshen up. And why did that come out like I'm smelling awfully? Oh, no, baby, you're not smelling. You're not smelling. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to smell. Leave me alone. <laughs> Damage control. Oh, really? 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 Leave you what? <laughs> Huh? Why can't we just let this thing slide? Um, what exactly do you mean by is this really necessary? Bro, I suggest you go downstairs, grab a glass of wine while we're married. This girl's my babe. She's my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? My babe. Lawson, what is wrong with you? Why are you sounding so weak? Oh. Wait a minute. Are you in love with this girl? Me? Love? What has love got to do with it? This is far from me. I'm not in love with her. Okay, I thought as much. Um, last week you were in my house, remember? We did some with Flora. Now it's Molly's turn. So please, step aside. Thank you. But this one is different. How is this one different? Listen, love died a long time ago and we buried it. No love lost, no love found. Do you remember Maureen, Janet, Ella, or is it Pauline? The one you devoured like, like a hungry elephant. And she lay there like a helpless dog. Come on. You started this. And this is going to end on you. You should be happy Jeremiah isn't here. Bro, I suggest you stay awake. Be mindful of your door. He might just walk in anytime soon. And while you're at it, Grab a glass of wine and let me have my fun. Thank you. Bro, excuse me. What? You want to watch? Why it's Lawson? Come on, relax. Babe! Relax. There's no need to shout, okay? Um, 
I am not going to hurt you. I don't understand. I am Lawson's girlfriend and you are his friend. So, so what are you doing here? A Lawson's girlfriend? <laughs> How come no one told me about that? Now listen to me, baby girl. You are just a sheep for the slaughter. Okay? There is no relationship anywhere. You are not different from other girls. This is how we do it. It's, it's a circle. Oh, I know that Lawson will never send you to do this oh, to me. But he did. I know that Lawson will never send you to do this to me. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 relax. You have to relax. Don't hurt yourself. Help me, please. Help me, please. Help me, please. Help me. So this is what you've been enjoying, huh? Look at him. <laughs> Crying like a baby whose toy has just been taken away from him. This is what you've been enjoying all by yourself, huh? No wonder you've been looking fresh these days. Well, if you must know, I just uh, drank from your well of gladness. <laughs> I, I will make this up to you. Tell me anything you want. I will do it. Anything. Just mention it. I'm going to do it. Oh, please, please. Don't take it too hard. I'm sorry, please. If you love me, you. Same you. I told about how I was molested by a friend. And you could without it. Do the same to me. Away from you. He's Tell me, my fault. So who do I run to? I'm, I'm just a poor orphan. There's no one to run to. There's no help from me anyway. No. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you!
What a situation. Nobody knows where she lives. Nobody knows if she's fine. Absolutely no clue about her. None whatsoever. Huh? I am so perplexed. I'm confused. Oh, so confusing, I swear. Oh, Lawson, 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 Lawson. What have you done? I mean, what if something terrible has happened to her? What if something terrible happened to her in this really, 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 really awful times? Huh? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should call the police. I should call the DPO, that's right. Maybe I should call the DPO and ask for help. Yes. Yes, I'll do that. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. And you, sir? Oh, terrific, terrific. So, um, I don't know. Are you at the office right now? Yes. All right, so can I come see you, say, in the next uh, 10, 15 minutes? Yes, sir. Yes, it's a bit urgent. I'm on my way. I'm along your road now to the office. Yeah, I can just swing by. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you in 15 minutes. All right. Bye, sir. Yes. Madam, your phone didn't go. Madam, your phone didn't go. Oh, 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 what? Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Hello? Um, please, can I call you back? I'm in a taxi. Oh, alright. Madam, can you remind me the address again? Oh, it's just number 19 in Mole Crescent by the Navy Estate. My life is broken into pieces I don't know where to go from here yeah. I'm a victim of circumstance How will my help come? Where will it come from? I don't know Good afternoon sir, how are you doing today? Fine ma, I'm not expecting your call today Oh, yes. I need to do some checkup. Can you take me to any hospital around here? Yes, there's a good hospital where my wife did an operation and the doctor saved my wife. The doctor is especially good and okay. Oh, fantastic. Take me there right away. Okay. Yes. So, uh, how may I help you? Um, my name is Rolly and I don't know, doctor, for some reason I just feel some type of way. Um, I don't know. I'm having discomfort. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I mean, what we have to do is to run a general test on you. So, I will have the nurse take your blood and uh, your urine and we'll do a general test. Two or three days you'll be fine. Hmm? Meanwhile, your face looks familiar. Are you sure we've not seen it somewhere? Um, not at all, Doctor. I just moved a week ago, so definitely no way. Oh. I tried to. Is there something about you? Uh, no, Doctor. You know, people tend to look alike somehow. And someone actually referred me to you. They spoke highly of you. Okay, just I will. I'll have the nurse come, so you wait. They'll take some samples. No? 
I'm sure the result will be out in three days. So fix you up. You're welcome. Don't worry yourself, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, it's ready, right? Good afternoon, Dr. Obi, Dr. Gerald. No, it's okay, you can call me Obi, that's fine. I see you've gotten your result. Uh, yes, I have. Oh, fantastic. It's just a minor typhoid and malaria. I actually came to your office to see you, but you were not there, so I had to leave. Oh, so sorry, I went out for an external run. But I'm here now, so come in, let's take a look at it, and then... We we'll figure out what the problem. Don't worry about that. Um, since I already know what it is, I will just treat myself. You sure? Yes. Okay, that's all right. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you too, doctor. Thank you. All right. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. Hello. It's you again. Yes, it's me. <laughs> My goodness. What are you doing here standing in front of the church? Well, hold on. Don't tell me we worship in the same place. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we attend the same church. <laughs> wow. That's a coincidence. Mm hmm Good. Uh, so where are you going to let me drop you off? Ah, no, no. You Don't worry. I'm waiting for my taxi. It's almost here. Uh, are you sure? It's five minutes away. I mean, come on, we are friends now. I mean, I can always drop you off. It's not a problem. Uh, Dr. Obi, don't worry. I'm fine. You're such a good man. Thank you. Know you know what? You know what? <laughs> this is what we do. Uh, why don't we sit in my car till your taxi comes? I mean, it's quite hot. I don't know. Dr. Obi, thank you. I insist. Please. <laughs> it's just to sit in the car. Dr. Obi, are you, why are you this nice? Please. Oh. You win. Awesome. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can you get yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you can say that again. <laughs> I have been distracted from work since I met you. I'm always smiling each time I think of you. There is this undressed happiness that pops up in my system. That joy I haven't felt for a long time since I lost my first love. You just suddenly brought it alive. Can you just stop? You're, you're making me blush. Can I really make someone this happy? So you, you appear to me like someone I know all my life. Really? Um, <laughs> you need to see the way I'm blushing like a baby that just got candies. I just hope you're real. I'm for real. I'm for real, girl. I want you to know that when I look into your eyes, I see my woman. I think got into that already. I'm, you know what? <laughs> This past week has just been amazing. You've brought so much joy to me. I must tell you. I love that. You know what? 
Why? I love you. Hmm. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so you love me. Can you prove it? I'm on my way to go prove it to you. No, 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 no. Don't, don't come. Don't, don't come. Don't bother. I'm, I'm heading out. See you tomorrow. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. is to think of how to make things work between us. How to make everything okay for us. I can't stop thinking about you. I have a surprise for you. Hmm. Well, it's upstairs in my room. Come, let's go. What surprise? What's happened? What is the problem, babe? What is it? Upstairs in your room. No, please. Babe, this is the third time you're declining the request to go to my room. Why? I mean, you freely enter all the rooms downstairs, but not the ones upstairs. What happened? You think I have a dead body in my room? No, babe, it's, it's not it's not that. I just don't like climbing the stairs. You know, when I was little, I, I fell and I broke my leg. And since then, I've had phobia for climbing upstairs. <laughs> Come on, honey. You're a full grown woman now. Huh? You shouldn't be scared of things that happened in the past. Come, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Do don't worry, when I'm when I'm ready, I'll I'll go, okay? Well for now, let me just I'll wait here for the surprise to come. If you say so. Okay. I'm waiting. serious note. I'm being honest. She comes to my house. She does everything a woman would do in the house. She will clean, she will cook, will eat, but she will never climb upstairs. She has never climbed upstairs. Not to my bedroom, not to the rooms upstairs, but just ground floor. I don't just understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she she said she she uh, what? How did she put it again? That she fell from the stairs when she was a child, and then she developed this phobia for height. So because of that, she could not climb the stairs. I I, I don't I don't just understand. No 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 no. We we of course we do it everywhere. We do it in my house. We we have sex in our house. Does the rooms downstairs, but we have never climbed to my room. 
<laughs> well, well, hold on. You think so? You think that's what she's doing? Are you sure that she doesn't want to stay in the bedroom till we're married? Eh? It's very possible. Though. It's very possible. So you're saying I should make the the moves fast, eh? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, I think I, I I should I should do that <laughs> as fast as possible. It's alright, my brother. Anyway, enough about me, enough about me. So how is how are you doing, man? How is your family? How is your child? Everything good? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. All right, bro. Let me attend to the patient real quick, okay? All right, you take care. <laughs> Strange number. Who could this be? Jesus. Jesus. Why? Why is he calling me? No. No. No negative vibes. My life is becoming better. Positive energy only. took pills after what Alvin and Lawson did to me. Who can I say is the father of my baby? It's just few days I had an affair with Obi and the result proves I'm pregnant. I took pills after I and Gerald made out. I'm pregnant, how is this possible? I think I need to run another test. It's impossible. 
my God, help. I um, can we sleep in my room please now I am tired of sleeping in the guest room when my room is up there chilling I'm very okay and comfortable please you not today now please you know you know I still have that phobia in me and but I promise I would I would I would definitely sleep in your room someday. I just need to work on I just need to work on it and so just do something about it. Do you want to see a doctor? Do I need to see a doctor when I have one here? I'm not talking about my kind of you know the doctor I'm talking about. I don't understand. Oh, please. Allow me to sleep here peacefully. What are you trying to send me away? God forbid. Baby, I'll never do such a thing now. No. Huh? It's just that. Good. So I'll sleep where I want to sleep. Fine. Can I have it your way? Thank you. <laughs> you smile now. Very good. Hey. I want to take you out today. But I said to myself, <laughs> I have to get you something sexy to wear. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Let me open it. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Right? Love I love it. I know. So I want you to put it on and see what it looks on you. Because I told the person that's what it looks like. If it doesn't fit, I'm returning. Oh, this is going to fit perfectly. Like, this is my perfect size. Really, really, really I'm coming. Really <laughs> <sad. laughs> since you came into my life. You've given my life more meaning. I don't feel lonely anymore. Please, marry me and I promise you, I will make you the happiest woman on earth. Please. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> I love you so much. I promise. I will never leave you. No matter the circumstance. I promise. Okay? They may not know you like I know you. You're the one for me, baby. I am so sure 
that your love is pure. Nothing else matters. I love you. I need you. I want you. Forever. I love you. Hey, babe. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. I was I was calling your phone, but you were not picking, so I decided to come and check. And there you were passed out on the floor. So I had to administer Drew so that you can regain consciousness. Hmm? Thank you, babe. It's alright. Guess what? What? You're pregnant. But having a baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course you should be pregnant. I mean, I've been shooting this stuff in there for a while, so I'm, I'm expecting results. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Henceforth, you're moving in with me permanently. I want to take care of you and our baby. Okay? All right, rest. Rest now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I love you. Who is her? Yes. Oh my, who are you and how may I help you? My name is Michael. Okay. I'm actually here to deliver this package, sir. You're here to deliver this car to me. Who's who sent it? Dr. Obi, sir. But I am Dr. Obia. Why would I send the car to myself? Oh, sir, you bought this car. In fact, you bought it for Mrs. Rolly Obi here now. Oh, I did. Congratulations, ma'am. Happy birthday, Obi! Thank you! Happy birthday. You deserve it, okay? Come on, check it out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, huh? I love it so much. Thank you. Yes, 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 I understand. Just have Dr. Ifani handle her, okay? Explain to her that I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. Good. Yes, yes, I will. All right, thank you, nurse. Yeah. Babe. Yes, my love. It's been a month since we got married, and mm -hmm. we haven't visited my grandma. Do you know you promised that we're going to see her two weeks after the, the wedding? And... Yes, 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 I remember. You know what? We do that this weekend. I'll make our time. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, that's Perfect. fine. <laughs> so, how is my baby doing? Ah, uh, well, your baby is fine. Fantastic. <laughs> and how is my baby daddy? Oh, baby daddy is good. And how is my baby mama? As you can see, uh huh. Baby mama is fine. <laughs> <laughs> just silly. Mm. Oh, yeah, are you done with that chicken? I can't take it. I should, you, me, I will not take it. I know you. You know that I ate your chicken. I know you. you. Might have still. <laughs> Hello, honey. Baby, please come and pick me. I don't like this environment. It, it, it looks it looks familiar in a sinister kind of way. Please hurry and Take me to the hospital so I can go for antenental. Please hurry, hurry. <laughs> so, <coughs> so you have a baby. Just a dream. Oh my goodness, you're burning up. 
I'm sure, I'm sure he's a night fever. He's the baby. He's the baby, yes. I know, I know. It's just a bad dream, okay? Oh, something terrible that happened in the past. I'm sure. Sorry, okay? Baby, please, can, can you get me cold water? Okay. Okay, just rest. How are you? Hmm? Honey, I think the baby's coming. I think the baby's coming. I'm headed to the hospital right now. <laughs> Meet me at the hospital, please. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh. oh, no, no, come on, baby. Okay guys, it's time for lunch. Come inside. Mom, hold down your jar and let them. Hey, the boy, as the master of the house, you have spoken. No, this is not me. Babe, please, yeah. please. People should come inside. It's time for lunch. I mean, you've been playing this ball for over an hour now. Please, we'll join you soon. Give us some time. Right? <laughs> like, come inside. Not oh, you should come inside. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not ready to play. I'm not. I'm not even. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. go inside. Oh, go. that's my champion. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Remember to talk to the school about the bullies. I will not tolerate anyone bullying my child. Sure, I will. Um, we're already late, babe. You know I'm meant to stop by the supermarket to pick the supplies. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so um, I'm going to see you. All right. Later. Be careful, okay. <laughs> Bye. Be careful. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll just drop you with mom, okay? Daddy has an emergency at the hospital, okay? All right, good boy. Here you go. Ah. Sit, sit, mom. Put the seatbelt on. Yes.
<laughs> but Kelvin, you like shower man now? Kelvin, don't be a naughty boy. Don't be a naughty boy. We're going to buy shower man. Mommy's going to buy shower man. You're going to like it. So what do you want me to buy for you? Ice cream? Do you want ice cream? What do you mean I don't want anything? This boy. Kelvin, did anything happen in school today? So why are you being naked? Hmm? Kelvin, mommy is talking to you. You don't ignore mommy. I'm going to buy Shama for you, okay? What happened to me? Baby, please, can you help me up? Maybe you just stand. Help me, please. Who is the biological father of Kelvin? Your son. Baby, what kind of question is this? Can't you see my condition? This is not the time for this expensive joke, please. Who is the father of your son, Kelvin? Oh, what's his sweet name? Do not make me ask you again! Who is the father to your son? You, you, his father. You, Kelvin is your son. Explain this to me. No, babe, this, this is this is not true. This can't be true. This is. This can't be true. Are you telling me a DNA test tells a lie? You're telling me that the DNA test I did is a lie. Kelvin is not my son. Kelvin is not my son. Three good years. Three years I've been raising that boy as my own. And he's not my son. You know what? Whenever you get up from this hospital bed, you're coming straight to pack your things and leave my house because I don't want to set eyes on you or that bastard boy. Because if I do, I will kill you both. And I mean it. This is the divorce paper. Now make sure you sign them. Oh, be careful, it's your son. My life is broken oh, my in two pieces I don't know where to go from here yeah. I'm a victim of circumstance How will my help come? Where will it come? close to four years with her The three year old son I have loved so much Taking care of, catered for every need, and built my life around him. Finally, I get to find out he's not mine. How not do I explain this to people? God. Oh, no. No, I can't take this. I can't. She broke my heart. She betrayed me. Why? I loved her so much. Why would she do this to me? I, I never saw this coming. Oh God. God, why me? Why? Why? God. No. Madam, please calm down. Please, everything will be fine. I'm Dr. Ada. I know the news is going to be hard for you to take, but please, 
Calm down. I miss my son. Your son is fine. You will see your son as soon as you're ready to see him. I'm ready. Just take me to my son. Please, Please calm down. You will see your son. Your son actually lost a lot of blood. But we managed to sustain him. My son lost a lot of blood. They could. That's what really happened. The last I remember, I was driving. Okay, from what I heard, I think both of you were involved in an accident. And this accident almost took the life of your son. You, on the other hand, you had this location. But we managed to treat the both of you. You went into coma and we treated your son. But thank God, both of you are fine. Just calm down. Relax, okay? But don't. Please, you need to rest, okay? When you recover, you will hear the other details. I don't want to rest. I want to see my Please, please calm down. This is no good for your health. Please. Your son is fine. You will see your son, okay? Just rest for now, okay? I promise you, you will see your son. Please. Calm down, madam. Stop crying. Please calm down. I'll take my leave. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. He lost seven to one percent of blood. I think the accident affected some vital arteries. As much as we could tell, he needed blood. Under that pressure, Dr. Obe came into the hospital to make claims that is the father of Kelvin. But we couldn't allow that because there was no family member to testify for him. But the pressure was too much for my director. He requested for a DNA sample. That if it matches his, then he can take you and Kelvin to whichever hospital he wanted to. And you couldn't let him? Yes, we could have, but we have policy guiding our organization. He's a doctor just like myself. Same field of experience. But we couldn't allow it because the urgency didn't give us time to search deep. The only way out at a dark point in time was to do a DNA test. So he took Kelvin's blood sample and went to his hospital, which is also a reputable hospital. But sadly, the result came out and he's not the father of Kelvin. Jesus. Yes. Oh my God. What have I done? I've lost a good man. What did I do? Yes, you've indeed lost a good man. Do you know he practically fainted and we had to do an emergency wake-up strategy for him to regain consciousness. He cried a lot before he went to look for blood for Kelvin. He did? Yes, he did. And he got lots of blood. He came at about 1.30 a.m. with a lady he addressed as Jane. Jane was here? Yes. You need to call her. Where's my phone? I'm so sorry. But we couldn't retrieve anything at the accident scene. I guess some folks got hold of it before we got there. Obi is such a good man. Despite the fact that the result didn't favor him, he still did all that for me and my son. Hmm. Mom, but I want to ask you something. If he is not the father of Kelvin, then who is the father of Kelvin? Because I don't see why someone will have such a good man and get pregnant outside for someone else. I don't understand you. But I can tell you how it all happened. No, not today. You need to rest. I'll come see you in the morning so we can do better. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome. Please have your rest. I need to take my Oh, my 
my son. I have prayed all the prayers just to see you again. I've missed you so much. I've been so tired. Look at you. Looking all fully recovered. I'm so proud of you. Where is Dad? Dad is going to come. He's fine. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you when you said you didn't want to eat Shamama. If I had listened to you, we wouldn't end up in this place. But I promise you, I will listen to you in spots. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Good morning, Rolly. How are you doing today? I'm overwhelmed. Um, I don't really know how to say it. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you. It's fine. I understand the joy. <laughs> so, you know, I just have a good time with your son. Kelvin, take care of mommy, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Right, have you. fun. You're welcome. Oh, my boy, I missed you. My child, yeah. give him a high five. Yay! <laughs> Come. Mm. That's my boy. Oh, my soldier boy. Don't worry, mommy's going to be good on the go home, okay? okay. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How are you? Good evening to you too, my little soldier. How are you doing today? Good evening, doctor. I didn't know you were still around. Good evening to you, Rolly. How are you doing? I'm fine. And yes, I'm still around. I just finished my shift for the day. I was about leaving, so I decided to come say hello to you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. And yes, you've been discharged. You're free to go home. Your bills have been sorted out. Sorted out? Mm-hmm. How? By who? Doctor, honestly, it has been, it has been my prayer and my worry. Now someone has paid my bills. I don't even have anyone. Doctor, you, you know how I came. <laughs> Rolly, you ask too many questions at a time. I know how you came. But just forget about everything and calm your nerves. The most important thing is someone paid for your bills. You don't need to know who. But I'm worried. Where will you go to from this place? Doctor, I believe God will provide. I never stop believing in Him. He always makes a way. God will provide. Well, I can help. No, no, oh, doctor, no, please, please. You have done more than enough. I mean, from medication to provision to care. And you don't even know me from Adam. God will bless you. I'm really grateful. So, um, I will come check up on you in the morning. And please, do not leave without seeing me. Wait till I return, okay? Yes, I will. Calvin, <laughs> take care of mommy, okay? Good night. Good night, doctor. Yeah, bye. You don't want to say good night to me, doctor. Hmm? She's the one taking care of mommy. Hmm? My boy. <laughs> when I thought that Let me go and look for what my son will eat. Oh, I just hope he's safe in there. You didn't give me Let me just go. Just go. And I'm in the rain. Hello. Away from you, it's not my fault. Oh, what I went through. No, no, I couldn't control it, I couldn't handle it. I don't know what else you want me.
My life is broken into pieces. I don't know where to go from here. I'm a victim of circumstance. How will my help come? Where will it come from? I don't know. It's not my fault. Oh, what I went through. No, no, I couldn't control it. I couldn't handle. Now I am all alone. When I thought that everything has changed, but it faded away. You didn't give me a chance to explain. Now I'm in the rain, alone, away from you. It's not my fault. Oh. What I went through, no, no, I couldn't control it. I couldn't handle it. I don't know what hey, else you want. Really, Kelvin, what is wrong with you? What are you doing here? I've been looking for you since morning. What is going on? Why would you even subject yourself to this? Good evening, Doctor Ada. Good evening. Really, what is all this now? I thought I asked you to wait for me at the hospital. I came, I was looking for you. I did not see you all, my little champ. What is going on? Why are you suffering yourself like this? Doctor, no, I did not want to bother you. I did not want to pay body to you. You have done enough for I and my son. And I, I know that you're definitely going through your own problems. Adding my son and, and, and myself to you now will be a whole load. And besides, I'm, I'm waiting for this, this shop to close so that I, I and my son will just go there and sleep. What are you saying? What is wrong with you? Did I ever complain to you that you're a burden to me? Did I complain? So why would you just think that I'm, 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 my, my, your problem is going to add to my own problem? You know what? No is a but. You're coming with me right away. Okay? I don't want to hear you complain. Shh, stop crying. People are watching, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Kelvin, <laughs> have you eaten? Let's go. He stop has crying. Eaten. He has not eaten. And you... Let's go! <laughs> so that's my dilemma. After I got molested, there was no one to run to. Mr. Lawson, a renowned surgeon. Alvin, a barrister. Jeremiah. Who happens to be the son of Senator Adini? And then there is me, an orphan with no one to report to. <sighs> to think that they've been in this act long before I was in this room. <laughs> Indeed, this world will be careful. But I promise you, they won't go scot free. I will fight them to the last drop of my blood. You don't, you don't need to, please. You don't need to. Let God's will prevail. Was that how Kelvin came about? Well, how come he looks so much like Gerard? They look so much alike. I don't I don't even understand. I I can't explain. Because after I was raped, I, I took pills to, to flush it all out. But I guess it didn't work. <laughs> and that was the same period I met with Obi and we made out. Honestly, if I had known that the seed was still in me, I would have done something or probably said something. But I didn't. I, I, I didn't know. I had no idea. It's okay. You don't have to blame yourself. Okay. But we need to know among the three of them who is the father of Kelvin. Kelvin is every father. Is there a need for that? There is.
please forgive me. Please. I believe what I've been going through. That I have been dealt as a result of what I did to you. We haven't come here for a pity mission. She has a baby from what you guys did to her. My name is Dr. Ada, and I have come to take your blood sample. I come in peace. So you need to allow me to have your blood sample peacefully. Else, we'll go the other way around. And I'm sure you don't want that. We just want to know who the father of the child is among the two of you. Can only have mine. Why? Two of you were involved in it. Why yours only? <laughs> we were involved in a shootout. <laughs> the night we were on our way to a concert organized by, by Jeremiah's father, Senator Denny. On a faithful night. <laughs> Jeremiah and Alvin died on the spot. I was lucky to escape over six bullets lodged in my system. I still have this bullet in here till today. The doctor said I have damaged my entire reproductive system. I could be unable to have children. May the Lord forgive you. <laughs> Dr. Ada, please let's go. Wally, what about the blood sample? There is no need for that. Please, let's go. <sighs> May the Lord forgive you. I can see you're already paying for your sins. Hello? Yeah, good evening, please. Where is that? Oh. What does he want? Can you please just tell him that I've left the hospital and I can't come back now? Let him come first thing in the morning. What's his name and what does he say he wants? I miss me urgently. Oh, did you just say Dr. Obe? Okay. Okay, you know what? Um, just tell him I'll be there in a few All right. Driver, please, can you take me back to the hospital, please? Thank you. And why are we, we back here? Really? Something happened at the hospital three days ago. And it involves you and Kelvin. Me and Kelvin? Are we still in the hospital? No. So it's, what happened? It's about Obe. Obe? What happened to him? Calm down. You really love this guy. I can see that. It's not that. It, you mentioned his name and I got worried. What happened? He came and he just arrived. Who just arrived? Babe, honey, I'm so sorry. Okay, baby, I'm so sorry for everything I've done. For 
for maltreating you and my kid. I am so sorry, okay? I just want you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. Please, I beg you. Please. Please, listen to him. He has something important to say. I don't want to listen to him. Gerald betrayed me. He treated me in a way no woman wants to be treated. Baby, I know. Okay, I know. I was deceived. I know what I did was wrong. But I was deceived. The DNA test was forged. You remember Hannah? The girl I told you that wanted to marry me. And I turned her down. She's my colleague. I gave her the sample for her to test. It, and she gave me the wrong result. I should have cross-checked. I, I, I should have checked before taking action. But I, I didn't. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, wait, look. I am willing to make amends, okay? Whatever I've done, I will make it up to you 10,000 times. Please, baby, forgive me. I'm begging you. Please. Please, forgive him. He's speaking the truth. You know, he took the samples to five different hospitals. And it turned out that Kelvin is his biological son. I also conducted my DNA test. And it matched. He has been crying. He has been sad. And this was what Jane saw, that he loves his family so much. And that was why she revealed the truth about everything. Jane? Yes. Jane is my friend. And she betrayed me. And we were all betrayed. And I'm sorry. Baby, please, I beg you. I love you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you and my son back. Please. I love you. Okay. I love you. I need you. I want you. I want you forever. I love you. I need you. I need you. I want you. I want you forever, baby. No matter what people say, no matter what I'm them do, you are the one for me. I enjoyed my meal. It was so delicious. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so, we're going to make a toast <laughs> to family, family, friendship, friendship peace, peace, and happy ever after. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Ada, I want to, I want to especially thank you for taking care of my family when I was in a dark place. And I pray that you find the peace you deserve in your home. And let me say this here, whenever you're ready to get married, when you're ready, just call on me, I'll sponsor that wedding. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And it's very soon. Mm. Get ready. <laughs> Thank you for being a good friend. You were a friend indeed. And to think you sorted my bills. Well, I heard it from someone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're family now, so. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Kevin, you good? Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> that's my boy. Uh, you want some apple? No. Oh, yes, watermelon it is. Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. I saw a car outside. Who has it? Oh, you did? Yeah. Baby, stop! Who oh, has it? It's supposed to be for... Is it for me? Is it... I don't know! Baby, stop! No, Where's tell Kelvin? Me. Kelvin? Kelvin! Yeah, that's my boy.
Tell them who is the car for? <laughs> it's for mommy. Yes. Oh, my sweet boy. Oh, come here. Come here. <laughs> See, my sweet boy got me a car. And who is mommy's little champion? You are. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Thank you. <laughs> you did great. Oh. For this, so, I'm going to buy you something special. What? Mm -hmm. What is go it? Go ahead and say it. Say it, say it. Why don't be shy? <laughs> Tell me. I'm sure she's trying to say you're going to take him to school. Ah! ah no, <laughs> you know what you're going to cook for is our favorite meal. No. So you cook for, my son got me the castle. It's for my son. Baby, what do you want? Is that what it is now? No. Don't no, be jealous. No, it's no, my no, son! No! no. <laughs> this is my champion. amazing. Your wisdom and understanding. That is why I love you. I love you. I need you. I want you. Forever. I love you. I need you. I want you. I want you. Forever. I love you. I need you. I want you. I want you. Forever. I love you, I love you, I need you, I need you, I want you, I want you. Hey baby. Hey, me? <laughs> Come. Mm. How are you? Okay. Okay, I uh I want to let you know that I'll be traveling to the US. Mm. Miami to be precise. It's a lie, babe. I've had so many beautiful things about Miami. It's mm. beautiful, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But I know you're not going there for fun. It's work, right? So tell mm. me, when are you leaving? When am I leaving? Uh, mm -hmm. That depends on you. On me? Mm -hmm. How? Don't tell me you're trying to take permission from me before you travel. I mean, you're going to save a life. You don't need to take permission from me. We are traveling to Miami together. You, Kelvin, and I. It's a lie. I'm serious. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> Baby, stop now. Stop what? pulling my legs I mean now. It. You deserve it. Oh my yeah. God! Oh, Come here. Oh, my sugar, baby. I know. Oh, you're I the know. best. I love I you so much. I love you so much. I, I love you. I love I you. I love you. I love you. I need you. I want you. I want you. Forever. I love you. Hey, that's my boy. Come here. Honey. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Hey. I love you. I need you. I want you. I want you forever. I love you. I need you. I need you. I want you. I want you forever, baby. No matter what people. It's all I do even at this point. Mm -hmm. Holy cultures, they're not together again. I can't go through this thing. Come here. It's okay. Hey, we thank God, okay? Let's focus on this dream. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's not be sad now. I need you. I want you. I want you forever. I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. I want you. I want you. I need you. I want you. I want you forever. I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. 
I want you, I want you, I need you, I want you, I want you forever.